<laughs> and so you're going to bring it in August? Oh, yeah. It'll oh, man, it. I can't wait to see it. I have it. my wagon there, too. Okay. Unless I trade it off. I got a guy interested in trading it off. Oh, okay. So I'll have something interesting there to replace. Okay. There. Okay. But we'll be there. Okay, well, thanks a lot. We enjoyed that show. Well, thank you, man. Thank we you. Really thank did. you. Thank you. <laughs> Caitlin Classics. Watch it. All righty. Subscribe to Caitlin Classics. Okay, I just want to let you know we got an event coming up. It's called Pro Street Day. Pro Street Day, Pro Street Day. November 9th, 2024. 148 East Main Street, Youngsville, North Carolina. Pro Street Day. November 9th, 2024. From 9 o'clock a.m. to 3 o'clock p.m. Pro Street Day. 148 East Main Street, Youngsville, North Carolina. Pro Street Day. 9 o'clock a.m. to 3 o'clock p.m. We have plenty of trailer parking. We're going to have a participant shorts trophy. We're going to have a baddest Pro Street trophy. We're gonna have a long distance trophy. We got plenty of trailer parking. We have a plethora of area hotels. Pro Street Day, 148 East Main Street, Youngsville, North Carolina. We have a heating lounge. November 9th, 2024, rain day. November 10th, 2024. We also have vendors. We're gonna have vendors at Pro Street Day. And we're giving away a free set of tires. Come see us. You can have that, that's yours. All right. That's yours. I know one of them cars. Okay, you I'm probably know that one too. Oh yeah, I want 10 more. <laughs> <laughs> Caitlin Classics, watch it. Alrighty. <laughs>
You like them three deuces? Yeah. Okay. I just, I just had that motor rebuilt. Oh, man. But my, my one the center carburetor runs there late. Sometimes it's sticky, but it's brand new. Okay. Okay. I ain't put 100 miles on it. Okay. Well, maybe it just got to get broke in. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Looks good? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Going to good guys this year? Uh, maybe. Me and my brother-in-law, he's got a bandit car. Oh, okay. So we might come. And I like these little dog dish hook cats you hey, got. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, I like to get this set, but they're uh -huh. four hundred dollars at NPD. <laughs> I can't afford that. And just rebuild that engine. Right, right. Cause that's what matters. That engine. Yeah, it's got all key flat stuff. Oh, okay. Well, it's ready. Yeah, it's ready to go. All right, man. Hey, nice talking to you.
What year is this one? 56. 56. So it's a fire flight because that's they call it a bat wing airplane. Yes, sir. So, 
It's just cool. It is. And the more you look at the thing, the more detail you find. There's a paint scrap that runs all the way around. Sorry about it. Everything about it. And then we've got you know, this thing's big enough people like our sponsor over here. <laughs> This your F one honey. What's that tie you got on the back? Eighteen and a half. Eighteen and a half. I'm sorry.
disappear if we don't set it. Okay, like a lot, a lot. Nobody could find the car, and the car just became a mystery. So what I did at home was, uh, Chuck is a very close friend of mine. I built a recreation at home in my two car garage. Just had to say a Wow. Yes. Yes. So this is so cool. And I remember the model. But I never, I ne actually never knew that it was a car. I thought it was, you know, because like, you know, some of the models, they just, they did a drawing and they, they did a model. Right. Nobody knows it disappeared and I've been looking all over for it or if anyone eats on it or anything like that. So I just consulted with Chuck Miller and he helped me build up. So cool. John, you got some cool stuff, man. You really do. I appreciate it. Again, Charlotte Auto Fair. John's got cool stuff. <laughs> Auto Fair fans presented by Camping World, especially you Corvette lovers out there. Check this out. Tom Keen from Keen Parts and Corvette Parts .net is here. Right to the manufacturers, by the way, Keen Parts, all those great Corvette parts that you want, those ones that are hard to find, the ones that you can't find anywhere else. And Cody, Tom Keen salesman from Keen Parts is here. What you got going there, hey, Cody? Uh, we Tons of new parts coming out, uh, all the, tons of new C4 stuff. I, what if I've got a 53 or, or a 55 or a 73 or a 75? Uh, C1 through C8, bumper to bumper restoration, anything, anything we can do for you. They've got all the parts, all the pieces that you see in their catalogs, you see online. Tom Keen himself down there chatting with customers. Come on over to Keen Parts, CorvetteParts.net, live right here at the one and only Auto Fair, presented by Camping World. where there's smoke, there's fire, and this season's so hot, the entire track will be blazing. Tony Stewart, John Force, and now I'm going to be in the speed. Catch your way to the running angels and see you next time. Thank <laughs> you. 
these things. Oh my gosh, let me check this out. All kinds of enemies as you come in. And then we'll walk back this way. Look at that. Remember, this is the one that uh, being the social media meets on the Dale Earnhardt Jr. and uh, Martin Florence. It looks comfortable, doesn't it?
tell y'all, we have an event coming up called Pro Street Day. Pro Street Day, Pro Street Day. 148 East Main Street, Youngsville, North Carolina. The date, November 9th, 2024, from 9 o'clock a.m. to 3 o'clock p.m. Pro Street Day. 148 East Main Street, Youngsville, North Carolina. November 9th, 2024. Rain date, November 10th, 2024. 148 East Main Street, Youngsville, North Carolina. We'll have a 50-50 drawing. We'll have food trucks. We got restrooms. We have plenty of trailer parking. We have a 50-50 drawing. We have a participant's choice trophy, a long distance trophy, and we're doing the baddest Pro Street Trophy. Not the best, but the baddest Pro Street Trophy. That's November 9th, 2024, 148 East Main Street, Youngsville, North Carolina, Pro Street Day. Plenty of trailer parking, a plethora of area hotels. The rain date will be November 10th, 2024. So Pro Street Day is November 9th, 2024. 148 East Main Street, Youngsville, North Carolina, from 9 o'clock a.m. to 3 o'clock p.m. We'll have vendors. We'll have door prizes. We will be giving away a set of tires on Pro Street Day. Pro Street Day, we will be giving away a set of tires to all entries. Pro Street Day, 148 East Main Street, Youngsville, North Carolina, November 9th, 2023. Pro Street Day. Come see us. Pro Street Day. Big tires, big motors. This is what you're going to see at Pro Street Day. 148 East Main Street, Youngsville, North Carolina, November 9th, 2024. 148 East Main Street, Youngsville, North Carolina, Pro Street Day. Plenty of trailer parking, food truck, restroom, participant choice trophy, long distance trophy, baddest Pro Street trophy, Pro Street Day. Vendors, we will have vendors, all kinds of vendors will be there. We will have door prizes and we will be giving away a free set of tires on Pro Street Day. So it's not just restricted to Pro Street cars, all kinds of cars are welcome, all makes and models welcome. But Pro Street Day, November 9th, 2024. 9 o'clock a.m. to 3 o'clock p.m. 148 East Main Street, Youngsville, North Carolina. Pro Street Day, 148 East Main Street, Youngsville, North Carolina. 50-50 drawn for cash. Rain date, November 10th, 2024. Turn the car in.
lot of original parts here, like the 32 headlights, the grill, the grill shell. So these are original 32 headlights? Yeah, they're original 32 Ford commercial headlights. Wow. And what they used on the trucks. Mm. Uh, the original headlights were a little bit smaller, so the guys like these big original uh, commercial lights because they were bigger and I guess they shine a little bit more light. Uh, walking around, you can see you got the uh, Buick Finn brake drums, and I got a 5 inch drop chrome I beam axle drilled and chromed underneath. Uh, the original cow lights here are my turn signals and parking lights. And okay. I also have the other cow lights up on the cow themselves. And coming around into the motor, that's a APA, which is a uh, 1949 to 53 flathead Merck, okay. Merck motor with a four inch stroke crank with an original Scott blower, which was from Italy, and Offenhauser heads. That's a 272 cubic inch, maybe if we're pushing it, 185 horsepower here. How much does the car weigh? Uh, I've never weighed it, but I'm going to say probably about 2,300 pounds, so pretty light. Very light. Yeah, pretty light. Very light. <laughs> uh, a lot of time in on the body work here. Okay. Uh, so zooming in there, that's an original 1932 Ford throttle pedal linkage, which has the spoon pedal on the inside. Okay. They're 397 chrome carb carburetors. Uh, walking around, you can see the... Original doors with windows. So those original 32 Ford windows? Yes, well, Cabriolet windows. Cabriolet, okay. And looking inside, that's an original 32 Ford dash. And the top irons with the convertible top are all original. And so it's got a beautiful leather interior with an original 32 Ford springs and seat. Uh, tray. Over on the other side, we have a 1937 Ford Banjo wheel. Oh, that's beautiful. On a 1939 Ford steering column with the original 1939 Ford ignition switch and key. Okay. And back here we have uh, the original, well, not original, but they're 1935 wire wheels. We have the rumble seat all done with the original springs. I'm looking at how nice this seat is. That's, but That's the mother-in-law seat from back in the day. Back in the day. <laughs> that's what they called it. Right. Uh, 1932 tank, original tail lights with uh, everything's a beautiful black paint. You can just look at the shine on there. Yeah. Say hello, everybody. <laughs> it is a mural finish. <laughs> And a vintage 1932 tag. And walking around, the, the body's flawless. A lot of time in there fixing that up. And okay, now let me ask you this. Yes. Does this have an alternator or a generator? It has an alternator, but it's a modern alternator with a generator look-alike. So, okay, okay. Uh, so it, it supplies enough juice. I don't have to worry about driving down the road and slowing down and you're running you know, low on juice. Okay. Now uh, listen to this. Yes. Yes. Look at that body, body lights. Perfect. And coming over here, it's got the uh, Hildebrand remote oil filter. It's got the four four bar suspension. Uh, you don't see this too often on the East Coast. These are uh, I forget what you call them, but that's stainless steel wire, and they're the uh, hose clamps for the hoses, top and bottom. That's stainless steel twisted wire. Mm. How about you? Have any questions for the car? No. Um. They're, they're, this is, I, I have to be honest with you. Cat's got your tongue, huh? Yes, because <laughs> when you told me this thing was original, I was spellbound when, once you said that. Because yeah. I've seen a whole lot of 
Reproduction. Device. Reproduction, but I've never seen. I may have seen it, but didn't know. Yeah, it's an original 1932 windshield frame. Mm. Here, stand here for a minute. It has, it has air conditioning. Oh, that's so neat. That is neat. And tell me about this intake manifold. Uh, that's a uh, original. Well, back in the day when the guys were racing, mm -hmm. to use these blowers they had to make special manifolds to, right to, to fit that blower so that's uh, some speed shop equipment yes from back in the day so uh, when these blowers came over superchargers came over from Italy they manufactured manifolds to fit them to accommodate the blowers Wow. and what kind of transmission it's got a modern GM 350 turbo transmission in it. Okay. Adapted to the flathead with a, it's like a adapter plate right here. Okay. Full stainless steel exhaust all the way out the back, dual exhaust. Uh, maybe you want to see this. I had to route it around the starter. Okay. I see. All right, now what's this tank right here? That tank is, uh, back in the old days when they were racing, they used these tanks for fuel mm -hmm. when they raced because they didn't want a lot of fuel in the gas tank. Right. Well, Moon makes a, it's called a water recovery tank. That's my overflow system for the radiator. So okay. if you look down here, you can see the piping for it. I see it. Okay. Okay. And I see you have cooling fans. Yes. That's a 16-inch, uh, 3500 CFM electric fan. And that is an original 1932 grill right there that I had chromed. Mm. Oh, this is a, uh, a real Ronco Vertex Magneto. And they had this in 32? No, that was uh, uh, okay. like a, what they used for racing back in the day. They still use magnetos in racing today. Okay. To give the extra spark. Oh, uh, yeah. If you hold the uh, the electrode on the inside and spin that, it'll, it'll blow your socks off. It'll oh, okay. charge through your system. Okay. you got to be careful with that. Okay. And what's this right here? That is a fuel pressure regulator. Okay. Uh, it controls... These old times carburetors can only use so much fuel pressure, so you got to knock the fuel pressure down. I have an electric fuel pump in here. Back uh, when this motor was, they used to have a mechanical pump right here mm -hmm. off the uh, camshaft. Okay. And it wasn't very strong, so you got to be careful with putting too much pressure to these. You pass through the, uh, you blow through the needle and seats, and then you'll end up flooding the carburetors. Okay. Well, look, thanks for you. Go ahead, Cole. You keep on if you've got yeah, something else to say. Just uh, a nice polished often hauser heads. They're, they're from back in the old days. Tell me about these wire covers. Uh, what's this? Uh, that's stainless steel uh, wire looms. Where'd you I get made, those? I made those. Like, I'm, I've been all the fuel lines and I made those. So you did some work yourself? Oh, yeah, I did all this. I built this car myself. Oh, man. Built, not bought. Yes. No checks written here. Wow. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks for your time, man. Go, if you have some more to tell me, I, I'm uh, here. I'm uh, all ears. I'm just figuring if you have any questions, I can answer all your questions. Man, you done told me everything. Uh, I don't know if you want to see one more thing. But, yes. Uh, uh, just stand here. Okay. We're going to show you uh, any theft system from... See the steering wheel? Yes. See the front wheels moving? Yes. Okay. Let's turn this here. Now we're locked. Okay. Now we got any theft. Locking steering wheel. Wow. Because that wasn't a manufactured thing back then. Yeah, that's 
That's from that's from the manufacturer in 1939. They had lock and steering wheel in 32. Yeah. I did no, not know no, that. 1939. 39. Yeah, this is a 39 column. Okay. Now we unlock it, and we're back to. Mmm. Wow. I thought that was something they didn't get to the 70s. Boy, this is fascinating. But I, I couldn't imagine being on the highway in this day and time with that yeah, rumble seat. You gotta be careful where you're driving. <laughs> I can t we can start it up top. Okay, okay. And I had my pinch striper do a couple little delicate pinch stripes around. A little conservative, not too over the mm -hmm. top. And, and this starts, was hand painted. And it starts over here. Runs down the body line all the way. Did a beautiful job lining up. Goes down and around. Around the back of the car. And he put a little insignia on the back tank for me. And uh, wraps up around the body line and finishes up on the cow. And what made you come to this show in North Carolina? Uh, the, the guy that runs this show, Ed Fossil, he, mm -hmm. uh, he sold a car at another car show and uh, it's an invitation here for this show. So right. He invited me to bring the car down. Okay. And, uh, I thought it would be a nice show. Uh, it always is. It's quite a bit of ways from home, but it's always nice to get away and oh, yeah. you know, show the car and appreciate the people looking at it and coming up and enjoying it. I'm glad you brought it down. Yeah, thank you. A lot, of, a lot of highlights with the red and the black. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I saw that. That was one of the first things I saw. Yeah. Okay, Chino. Appreciate about it. it. And it turned out to be a 32 Cabriolet, which is a... A nice, nicer word than convertible. So yes. it's basically a 32 convertible. And they only made 4,500 of them. But so this is a true cabriolet. Oh, this is real. This is Henry Ford. So this is not a high boy. Mm -hmm. This is not a high boy, is it? Well, it's a high boy, but it's an original 32 body from 1932 from Henry Ford. All steel. It's not, yeah, it's not a reproduction. This is, uh... Okay. Okay. Wow. And I can see the difference. See a roadster. Uh-huh. The difference between this and a roadster is this is a convertible top that folds down, but the roadster doesn't have a solid post. It has okay. A, it has a bolt-on windshield. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, you can tell me anything you want me to know about this car. How you doing? What's your name, sir? Good. My name is Gary Arsenal, and I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. Okay. All righty. And I'm sorry to hear about what happened to the bridge. Yeah, it got hit. Okay. It didn't fall down. Right. <laughs>
Right. Okay. Um, tell me about your car here. Uh, it's a 1932 Ford. Okay. It was built here in North Carolina in Abermaro, which is about 45 minutes from Charlotte, where we are today. Uh, the builder was here this morning and stopped in to say hello. Okay. The car is about, I'm going to say, nine years old. Okay. Uh, we do drive the car extensively. It's uh, very, very fun to drive. It is a five-speed Tremec transmission. Overdrive. So it's a manual transmission, and that makes it fun, and she can't drive it, so that's a good thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, we like it. It's, uh, we have another 32 at home also, but it's a Roadster with no top, no heat, no air conditioning. This okay. car has heat, air conditioning, power windows, so it has all the modern amenities oh, to it. So it's built for the road. It's very good for the road. It it drives great, rides good. Uh, it's a very fun car. Okay. Okay. And how did you come across it? Pardon me? How did you come across this car? Uh, we found this car, uh, basically, we knew this car from 10 years ago or 8 years ago, I guess it was. And the owner wasn't ready to sell it. So I had given uh, the owner a card, a business card, and then when the owner passed away, his wife found the card and called us and the rest is history. Okay, now, what was it about this car that made you approach the previous owner? One of the things we liked about this car is, first of all, it's yellow. Okay. And our other car is yellow, so we have two yellow cars, so that matches. And it's a 32 Ford which is my favorite car. Why? Uh, I like the 32. This was a one-year-only build from Ford Motor Company. They only built this body style on this frame for one year, the okay. 32. The okay. 32 was the first year that Ford put a V8 engine into one of these little cars. Okay. Now, yes, it was a flathead V8 at maybe 80 horsepower, not like this 450 horsepower engine, but it was still their most popular seller. It was unbelievable. Uh, then in uh, 33, they changed the cab design to make it a little wider. Okay. So the 32 is a one-year-only cab, one-year-only frame. Everything was a one-year. Oh, okay. So it, it, it makes them more rare. Okay. All right. And any special things you want to tell me about the build? Or? The, the motor is uh, a brand new Chevrolet crate engine. Okay. Right now it's got about 7,000 miles on it. Okay, it's getting broken so, in. Yeah, it's well broken in. Air conditioner freeze out. Mm -hmm. You know, the car is very, very well built. Mm -hmm. No rattles, no squeaks. You can actually hear the radio. Mm -hmm. you know, okay. Where my other one, you can't hear the radio so right. much. Uh, but it's uh, built on... It's not a traditional hot rod because it's got the fatter tires on it. Right. So we like the fatter tires, the billet uh, wheels. Mm -hmm. uh, so we had it all. And it uh, looks comfortable. Oh, it's very comfy. Very comfy. Oh, I didn't see this earlier. Now, yeah. is this hand painted? It's all hand painted. All the pinstriping was done by hand. Uh... Again, that was also done by a guy here in North Carolina. Okay. Uh, so this car is kind of a local car. A lot of people know it here. Okay. Uh, and it has a flame job. It, it does have flames on it. We'll close this door so they can see. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, very nice on the flames. Not too much, but just enough. Okay. And what kind of gear ratio you have in the back? Uh, with the overdrive transmission, it's got it's got a 355 rear end. Okay. Okay. All right, but with the overdrive and fifth gear, that this thing out. will go way over 100, and it'll be it's scary fast. Okay. You know, it'll go faster than this old guy can drive. Right, and plus the car don't weigh nothing. Yeah, it don't weigh anything. It's 2,600 right. pounds. Right. Right. And these and these motors were built to pull yeah, the trucks. That's over probably over 500 horsepower yeah. right there. So, and you said this is a 400? Or a it's a 350. Okay, that's plenty. And it's been gone through the whole thing. He, a brand new motor, we took it, he took it apart. 
Okay. Oh, look. I'm 
How the hell did they get it in there? <laughs> Chevy Astro van. It is a true 1985 Chevy. Uh, not to notice it anymore, but it's all steel. It's a drag car. Uh, weighs 3750, which is actually ridiculously heavy for a drag car. But when we started building it, it was uh, if it ain't steel, it ain't real. Was a big deal, and mm -hmm. uh, now I'm paying the penalty. <laughs> but, uh, okay. We got uh, 2,000 horsepower blown alcohol motor in it. It's got a uh, Linko Bruno combination in behind it. Best fits 773, 178 mile an hour. Uh, ten inch chop, six inch mid section cut, slammed on the ground. Suicide doors up front, piano style hood on it. The uh, rear door swings uh, unique. The car was called uh, Stu uh, Frank and Stu years ago, a good guy. And I looked at how they done theirs, and it was way complicated. I just did a tube and a tube, it worked simpler. And then the detail all around the thing. It's got uh, on the interior, it's got four seats, speakers, uh, stereo, uh, air conditioning controls, power uh, power window uh, switches, everything smoke and mirrors. It has, has the AC? Player. Has AC? Yeah, the, uh, the speakers, <laughs> big button in the back, no magnets behind them. <laughs> they want to wait. Mm. So you wouldn't be able to hear anything in this thing anyhow. Wow. <laughs> it's major loud. And uh, night of fire stuff is what we love to do. This thing will, it's got the front end will flash red, white, and blue. The back's got a laser on it, and then we shoot fireworks down track. <laughs> wow. Okay, now you built this. Yep. 14 years, 14,000 hours before I called it done. It's had uh, four different motor combinations in it. And if I had to do it over again, it would be an aftermarket Hemi. That's what all my buds are running. The, uh, the group we were running with, I'm the slowest of the bunch. It don't uh, matter. It's still a unique vehicle. Yeah, that was the same. Man. It's like, I'll tell I, I can't beat you, but I'll have to show you. Yes, you will. And the other thing I do to them is like, it's exhibition, so it didn't matter. It was like, I'm going to red light on you to even this stuff up. <laughs> but it wasn't, uh, it didn't start out as a drag vehicle. It was a van. It was a van, and when it started in 1990, the Astro has only been out for five years. Right. So to find one at a reasonable price, we found this thing in a junkyard, hit in the side and stripped. So mm -hmm. I think I got paid a thousand bucks for it. Okay. And then after that, we had to go find to make do a chop top or uh, do the doors. You need two two roofs, two doors. So we started picking up pieces after that to make it go together. A buddy of mine came across one and we chopped took a top off of it. And the top on this thing is a skull cap. It's actually off a Dodge. Mm-hmm. Because a buddy of mine had traveling camp. Right. And he's cutting the roofs out of them to put the pop tops on. Now, let me ask you this. Yeah. How did you come up with this idea? Uh, 
The Corvette started it all. I got to pick them on a street for street racing, so I decided to get into something slow like vans. Something didn't work. Because <laughs> this is not slow. This yeah. is not a slow van. And I've got a uh, 61 Ford Econoline I built first. Uh, it's got a 9S chop, 582 Chevy in it. It'll run 10s. So I want to go faster, so I built this one. And then I've got another one that we put together, and we're going to shake it down at uh, Huntsville, which is now Rocket City, uh, about two weeks from now. Okay, now how many cubic inches you have? Uh, 526, 2,000 horse. Blown. It's blown. Alcohol. Blown alcohol, yep. And what kind of times you run with this thing? Uh, 773, 178. That's flying, man. Yeah. And the new one should do 690 something at 200, because it's at least 1,000 pounds less than this. So the motor's a twin. Uh, this one's set at 2,000 horsepower, so I can do the stupid burnouts that uh, with oh, the, yeah. that the uh, track hires us in for. Oh, yeah. The other one's made to go quick, so it's set at 2,500 horse. Uh, and what size tires do you have on the back? Uh, they're uh, you know, <laughs> big Hoosiers. I forget what the number no is. Problem, 34, no 5, 17, no 15, something like that. And, and could you show me some of the stuff you've done to the inside? This, but I think it'll just abuse the tires, man. I you know. took a video in there, I think, where a picture of the video showing my burnouts. Uh, oh, yeah. I'd like to do burnouts and not have to make it run. <laughs> well, that's what people like to see. Yeah. Okay. That's, the track said, man, we don't care what your ET is. We want to burn out. That's right. what the fans love. Get, right. some on their, get some on their feet. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, and tell me about this exhaust system. Okay. Uh, the exhaust is questionably legal. <laughs> it's supposedly up and towards the rear. It's up a little bit and pointed towards the That's rear. Right. Not That's quite right. what they had in mind. From here to 25 feet down, I'll take your hat off. Mm. Uh, that's another thing we do at the shows. I'll warn the guys on the starting line that to duck because uh, my exhaust is going to get you. Yeah, is there a, any way you can show me how that door opens? This thing's a heck of an air compressor. <laughs> I bet it is. I bet it is. Is yeah. there any way you can show me how that... With all the boost that's on it and everything. That door opens. Pushes way out. Well, you saw the video mm-hmm. where that smoke trail was on mm-hmm. the side. Anything in that range, I'll take your hat off. Wow. <laughs> okay. And then uh, it's got lots of little things. Like... Make people laugh. I saw that. That yeah. belongs to my, my buddy that passed away, Fonzie. That was his. I don't want to open up and shut up your little bastard daycare. So every time somebody laughs at that, I think of him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. And then we got, like you say, we got the uh, seats, the speakers, uh, a lot of smoke and mirrors on that, DVD player. Actually, it works. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we was, I got it on video. Yeah. So what about this door? How does uh, it work? This one it's hinges off that corner. Okay. It swings down like that, shows in. Okay. Bear claws hold it. And wow. It latch at the bottom, latch at the top. Is it on a tube chassis? It shows back, yeah. Tube chassis, total tube chassis. Uh, chrome Molly chassis. It's all certified to uh, 750. Mm. It's completely legal. It's wow. Like, and it actually, well, the tag's not current right now on it, but one time. I had to say, it's, it's got turn signals, wipers, everything it needs to be street legal. Except, yeah, you know, this motor, it uses uh, 10 gallons to do a quarter mile, so you're not going very far. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Repeat, say that one more time. 10 gallons to do a quarter mile. By the time I fire up at the staging lanes, do my burnout, back up, and make the run, it's just at least 10 gallons. That's if nobody holds me up. <laughs> I got a 14-gallon oh, tank, and it's, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty well empty at the time at the end. Yeah, so we're, we're timing out. But usually, I'm running against guys. We're match. You know, it's, a, it's an exhibition race, so nobody's trying to burn the other guy down. Uh, so they, they get up here fairly quick. Some of the guys are a little bit slow on them over on the other side, cussing them. Where the hell are you? <laughs>
Yeah, I... Yesterday was awesome, man. Huh? The edit on your YouTube was awesome. Okay.
Get them leg on switches. I didn't know you had the leg on real long switches, man. Dang. And this best, this best to show today. What's that? This thing best to show today. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> best to show today. That don't mean nothing. If your car clean, your car is clean. Clean, clean. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you drove it, man. I know this has got to be a fun ride. Oh, it is. I worked there all day. So, how did you come across it? I I've been building cars mm -hmm. and motorcycles for years, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I buy, sell, trade, build. Mm -hmm. And I had the little truck that right. was in your show. Yeah. And I decided I wanted something with a little more room, mm -hmm. and I put it on marketplace. And a guy from uh, Arizona called me said he wanted it and he said he had a roadster he'd trade me this is what he had to trade me he even delivered it for a thousand bucks to my house so wow you I mean, can't beat that deal i was very happy with the car when it got there i ain't lying i haven't really done much i rebuilt the blower on it that's about all I've you done. rebuilt the blower yeah what was wrong with the blower it had a noise in it okay that i didn't like okay and i've built several blower cars and i'm I told my wife that ain't right. Okay. The guy that I got it off of, he said, well, it's done that since I put it on there. I said, it, it's not right. Okay. I drove it about 100 miles, told my wife it's coming off. And so what is this car? 1932 Ford. 32 Ford. Roadster. Roadster. Okay. All right. Convertible. Without yeah. the fenders. Yeah. Okay. It's called a high boy Roadster. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right. It's fun. Yeah, man. And so you're going to bring it in August? Oh, yeah. It'll oh, man, I can't wait to see it. I have it. my wagon there, too. Unless okay. Unless I trade it off. I got a guy interested in trading it off. Oh, there. okay. So I'll have something interesting there to replace. Okay. There. Okay. But we'll be there. Okay. Well, thanks a lot. We enjoyed that show. Well, thank you, man. Thank so you. Really thank did. you. Thank you. It's, uh, yeah, it's good to see you. Because, to be honest with you, 